You ever find yourself getting bored of the colors in your terminal? Maybe you do an HTOP and you just don't really like how the colors are being displayed in the bar graphs, or maybe you use Vim to open up a file and you just don't like how the characters are being displayed. Well, some people, when they want to change these things, they'll open up an X their X resources file and they'll go through and they'll manually change all of these colors. Usually they'll go on to Google or some other type of application that lets you easily convert uh, colors visually into their hexadecimal values here. But there's actually a much easier way to do all of this stuff. So if you come on over to Firefox here, I'll show you this neat little website called terminal.sexy. And basically what this allows you to do is it lets you choose from a bunch of pre-existing color schemes that are listed here, but you can also adjust all of the colors you want here. Uh, there's even a randomizer that you can do to just randomize how everything is set up. And it'll show you over here on the side some pseudo syntax that you can use to just basically keep track of how the colors are going to look if you're going to replicate this rice in uh, Vim or Sublime Text or some other type of text editor. So just as an example, you know, you saw what I'm working with right now. This is basically like a Grovebox dark and I think I still might have tweaked the colors on this a little bit, uh, but it's basically inspired by Grovebox. So let's try to find something in here that's a good change. I actually like this one a lot, the Google Dark. Uh, I think the colors and the contrast on this are pretty nice. Maybe we can make it a little bit darker. All right, that looks pretty good. And then to export this, so the way that I have my stuff set up is everything gets colored from my X resources file. So my terminal gets colored from X resources, Vim gets its color from it, HTOP, everything is just inside of this X resources file here. So it makes it really easy to just update the color and all my different programs that I'm using. So I'm gonna export it to that. And so these are all the color schemes that I have here and I'll download it. And so I'll come back here and uh, let me just move X resources to color backup, call it Grovebox. And I'll move, what was it called? Google Dark, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and move that and call it X resources, R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E-S. -E -E All right, so now I should be able to just basically restart everything because it automatically, all the different colors are pulled automatically. I think it's actually in my Xenet where they get pulled from. Uh, yeah, right here. So this is where the colors get pulled from X resources in my start X, which I'm still debugging this a little bit. It's thankfully it's working for the camera now. Sometimes this menu up here doesn't load right when I start X. It's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, you can see now I'm using the Google uh, the Google color scheme. I slightly modified Google color scheme inside of my terminal and it generates it automatically for ST. If you're using uh, URX VT, you got to, of course, copy everything else that's in your particular rice for that. Um, but it, it goes pretty well with ST. It's just that the syntax for URX VT is different. So again, URL is terminal.sexy. I'll leave it down in the description below. Stop wasting so much time manually configuring your color. You can just automatically do it on the website.